31. It's the last one. We vlogged for every single day in December. Dan is very excited. He just put on his primer for the door. I haven't seen it yet, so we're gonna see it together. Let's let's go, D. Let's go. Let's go. D. I just called you D. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. A little different in here. Yes. Here we go. I just walk in and look at it. <gasps> oh my god! It looks so good. You already got the first coat of primer on that thing, so. I'm so impressed by you. It looks really good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do one more coat. I need some, one more coat on the top, and then that'll dry overnight. We'll spin it. We'll hit the back. Yeah, it looks then, good. Uh, then we'll paint it. You could be literally done by this weekend. Have it up. I want to be. I'm tired. Of <laughs> Tired, tired of working, working at on this it? thing. Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah, I ended up painting in, in the spray booth because like, oh yeah. After all the complaining and like we measured it up, I'm just like, all right, we can, we can make it work in here. So. <laughs> it's very cold out today, anyway. I'm sure it's been a while since you've seen this view. Oh yo. yo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let me put my seatbelt on. <laughs> Roger. So we are going to go pick up. I have to pick up a prescription for myself from CVS. And then um, it's just an antibiotic for, I have something going on with my tooth. It's freaking killing me. It's cracked, it's my wisdom tooth. They left one of my wisdom teeth in and it's like really just causing me issues. So, um, we are gonna go pick that up. Eddie's hungry so we'll probably pick him up some food somewhere. And then Daniel is <laughs> on the hunt for a leak because he said he was gonna cook dinner this week. Where am I going? CVS first? Sure. Okay. We'll go to Home Depot first, CVS last, I don't care. So, Eddie's here because he's been at Ryan's all week and then she went to work today, so he- Came along to say hi. Came along for the, for the day. Um, I ended up canceling my hair appointment because my nose is still runny and I know that it's from the nail powder but like everybody around me is not gonna know that it's from the nail powder and like i don't want to be like you know what i mean like make anyone uncomfortable or like sniffing sniffling or whatever the case may be but if you watch yesterday's vlog you literally saw me have an allergy attack so it's from that but um yeah so we're going to home depot to pick up sorry i'm all over the place we're going to Home Depot. Eddie looks miserable. I'm chilling. <laughs> We're gonna go to Home Depot to pick up a new pot and some soil because my palm tree, palm plant, whatever it is, upstairs in our bedroom is really not thriving. And Eddie said that we could probably save it if we transfer the pot. Also, Edward, there's a pothos, a golden pothos in my office. Did you see it on the floor? Yeah. It has gnats in the soil. So I think we should probably change that soil too. Okay. So that's the plan. We're gonna pick up soil in a pot and Dan needs another can of primer, I think. And maybe I'll pick up the boys some lunch. I don't really know. Dan's having his friend Mark over. You guys know Mark from um, the Night Owls. He did a reading for me. Uh, where he connected with my dad, him and the Night Owls, and it was really, really awesome. So he's one of Dan's pretty good friends. So he's just coming over. I think they're gonna play bass together. I think Mark plays bass or guitar, and they're gonna jam out. So that's what they're doing today. So maybe we'll get them on the blog. I wanted to get another plant, baby, but these guys don't look that healthy, so. Mm. I love these little, are these real? Are these fig trees? Yeah, they're real. These pots over here, you can, you, you can water them and forget about them. Which ones? Back over there. Why do you say that? Huh? Why do you say, what do you mean? Pour the water in there. Pour the water in there, you can forget about it. Oh, because it has a saucer? Yeah, no, yeah. no, you literally pour, pour water from here, it takes it from the, from the bottom. Oh. Self watering. That's actually cool. Okay, let's get one of those. It's nasty one though. I don't know if that's big enough. It should be. 16 inches? How big is it now that you have? I don't know. We should have measured. No. Here we go. We got cactus, palm, and citrus potting mix. Do you have to fill it up first? Yeah. 
Not all the way, just so a little bit. Look at my poor palm. He's really not feeling so well. Poor thing. Should we just take that one half out? Because the whole half looks dead. Yeah. This whole this whole piece. And the other piece is still healthy-ish. Up to you. Whatever oh. you think is best. Excuse me. Doesn't matter. And then my little pothos here has like these weird gnats in it. Get things I can here. We have a shot back. We need to clean it. Majesty palm. Oh, you're gonna take off the dead ones? I have to. Should I have my truck here? Should I get a knife? Well, that's, what, that's what I have. I know, but like, a, I don't know. There's one right here, too. I know, same thing. It's moldy? A little bit. Horticulturist Eddie See. diagnosing my plant. So is it done? No. How do you kill the mold? Do you have to get a spray or something? And then you what, just fill the hole with it? Fill around it. How does it get mold? Out of water. Too much water? Oh, sure. Eat. That should not be a plant, Mom. <laughs> what does the brown mean? Oh, it's making mess. Where? Like, the, on the actual leaves. <clears throat> Too much water, or not enough sun, or... Could be, could, could be nutrient deficient. You know, enough water. It's freaking cold out here. Yes, this dirt literally had gnats in it. Pissed if I do this as long. I, it's just dirt. It'll be okay. What is this? And then it like gives it. But you're still gonna keep keep the, the roots. Oh my god! Flew in my eye. The dirt. So Eddie left. It's a lot later in the day. It's about 5.30 now, I think. Um, I'm here with Mystic Mark from the Night Owls. How's it going? And Dan, of course. And Lola. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark is looking at... These are tarot cards, right? Yep, yeah, this is an angel deck that I'm working with tonight. An angel deck. He's just telling me all about all the crystals. We were talking about Moldavite earlier and how powerful it really is and all these cool things. So. Yeah, yeah Moldavite's very, very powerful. Probably mm -hmm. the most powerful crystal you're going to find out there. So. It's so cool. Yeah, perfect. So he's going to, is it reading your tarot cards or what would you say this experience is? So this is more or less like the cards or it's a form of communication with the angels and guides. So in this case, I'm asking my angels and guides to connect with Gabriella's and then they're just communicating the inf information back to me through the cards. Okay. And then there's a little bit of clairvoyance mixed in there, intuition. There's a right. number of different things that, and each reader is unique. Mm -hmm. So this is the way I do it. It's okay. not necessarily the only way. Some people, everybody's different. Okay, cool. So yeah, I figured I would film a little bit of this in case you guys are interested. I'll leave um, the Night Owls channel down below so you guys can go check it out. He does really, really great readings. Him and the, the Night Owls. So, all right. So this first card immediately tells me that you had self-confidence issues when you were younger. Mm -hmm. um, it's talking about underestimating yourself, or it's telling you not to underestimate yourself, but it specifically mentions that because you were probably having confidence issues early on. Mm -hmm. um, assert your independence and creativity. So I think these are all things that are talking about like what you've become to this point. It's pointing out that in your past, you did have issues with being your authentic self, mm -hmm. finding who you really were. Um, it's clearly worked out for the better for you in that regard. Mm -hmm. um, it also, I see a phoenix in this card. So it's talking about like being reborn. Mm -hmm. Like you reinvented yourself. Like you're a completely different person. If whoever knew you when you were a kid is very happy to see the person you've become because you've completely reinvented yourself and you're reborn in many ways. Oh. So this card is the Empress. Archangel Gabriel, mm -hmm. which also can be Gabriella. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, I think it, this is the present card. Talking about lavish abundance at this time, giving birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. Um, so this card 
there's two meanings to it that I typically get. One, it talk. I mean, the, the angel is literally holding a baby. Mm -hmm. So I've pulled this card for people who are either pregnant mm -hmm. or will be pregnant. It also can signify the birth of a new idea okay. or a new direction in your career. Mm -hmm. So you can take it either or. Mm -hmm. um, it could potentially be both. Ooh, two of water. A relationship that continues to grow closer. Gee, I wonder who this is. <laughs> Forgiveness. The positive resolution of a conflict. The future situation. So instantly I'm seeing Dan. Um, a relationship that continues to grow closer. Now, the healing that you're receiving from being with someone like Dan mm -hmm. is pretty incredible because you're like, there's like a <laughs> hole, like you had a hole mm -hmm. in your heart. Mm -hmm. And when you met Dan, you're, you're filling that hole up and it's going to help you work through other situations with other people. Mm -hmm. So Dan being in your life is definitely a good thing. It's going to help you um, with forgiveness. So there is definitely somebody that you're having problems because I do remember this specifically now. You were having problems forgiving somebody or mm -hmm. getting past a situation. Mm -hmm. um, someone who hurt you. Yeah. And yep. you're just like, you've, you're fed up with whatever they did. You, you're almost ignoring the situation completely because mm -hmm. in your head, like, they screwed me over. So why should I give They're them the dead time to me, basically. They're dead yeah. to you. Mm -hmm. But the reason why they keep bringing this up is because without closure, you're just holding on to that energy. Mm -hmm. And that energy is toxic. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you're toxic. The right. energy no, yeah. be between the two of you, that energy is toxic. Mm -hmm. And the longer you hold on to it, the more it's gonna affect you in other ways. You guys, you'll never believe this. Look who cooked! <laughs> Actually made something. Did you plate it yet? Oh, no, it smells no. so good in here. So, I got this Whole30 book that I've been like eating out of before and like I kind of stopped and want to eat a little bit healthier um, oh, instead of all this junk. So, I made a <laughs> pork chop, uh, fried, uh, pan fried pork chops with sweet potato coal cannon. So there's like Swiss chard and like leeks in here. Yeah, with, like, it smells so good. And like, I didn't do ghee because I'm like, I'm not that freaking thing but just like in a use butter. butter instead yeah yeah i mean so and then um sweet potatoes like i, I peeled them and s boiled them to soften them up and uh it's supposed to be really healthy for you and this tastes bomb by the way <laughs> i've had this all right guys so dan's dinner was really good i'm having such a hard time with my tooth pain that like I couldn't really eat it. Tooth pain is like the worst to me ever. It is so painful and it like radiates to your ear and your jaw and it's just not fun. So I hate that this is the last day of Vlogmas and I'm like, like not really living and loving, but um, we are gonna open up the rest of these cards. I'm about to upload the vlog for today for Vlogmas day 30. Um, oh ladies, whenever I pick up the camera, she just wants to play. She's like, pay attention to me. There you are. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> Sorry, I know I look rough today. Again, I'm just not in the mood. My freaking tooth is killing me. This hair is just fucking deceased oh update by with that by the way so essentially i had to threaten to reveal the truth about their hair which i already have but like do a full dedicated video to get even a little bit of refund back they were like oh we can give you 50 percent of a refund back and i'm like i'm sorry no that's not good enough your hair is trash you are lying to your customers you're doing this this and this and this and then they were like all right here's your full refund like basically shut the fuck up so I highly suggest if you're looking to get any type of hair extension, you do not shop Zala because they're lying to their customers. Their customer service is garbage and their hair is garbage. So just a little tip for me to you. Um, anyways, I'm going to open the rest of these P.O. box packages.
packages and cards now. Dan's sitting next to me, but he doesn't, he's having a drink and he's just relaxing. He's not in the mood. So <laughs> that's fine. My hands are gross right now. They feel, anybody else have this weird thing where like, Soapy hands. like when your fingers have been in water, like I just did the dishes, it's like, I feel like I don't want to touch anything because they're like sensitive. Is raisin, that weird? They're raisin hands. Yeah, but they're not like at that point, but they're just like weird feeling. Okay, this card is from Emily from Connecticut. Hey girl, I follow you on Instagram. Oh my gosh. Oh. Gabriella, it has been so nice connecting with you through YouTube. You continue to inspire me. Thank you for simply being you. I know this has been such a challenging year for you with the passing of your dad. I'm so beyond sorry. Just know you have so many people that are here for you. It's been so beautiful watching you and Dan's relationship blossom. You two are perfect for each other. Merry Christmas to you two. I hope you enjoy these Christmas pictures of me and my little family. I love you, girl. Emily. Gabriella, sending warm holiday wishes. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Love, Emily. Thank you so much. I love following you on Instagram because you post the cutest pictures. Your son is adorable. He is so cute. I'm not going to show these to the camera because I just get weird about like showing people's children, even though I'm sh like, I don't know. It's just like a weird thing. I don't know. Pe some people are weirdos. <laughs> like not you guys, but like some people on the internet are weirdos, if you know what I mean. Um, but you guys are like the cutest little family ever. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had a good one. All right. The next one is from Megan. Megan Villarreal. I'm sorry. I'm probably butchering that. From Texas. I love this little sticker on the back. It says, know your, know your worth, own your power. Yes. Oh, <laughs> look at this little porcupine. Dan. So cute. It says, happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Gabrielle and Dan and fur babies. LOL, I'm sorry it took me forever to send a card. I'm the queen of procrastinating. Also, Christmas card is from Target. I'm not crafty like you. <laughs> First off, I love you. Second off, don't ever apologize for sending me a card like late or whatever i appreciate every single one i you know i just love you guys um and yes target is the jam uh i've been a subby since the beginning pretty much my username was megan Mur oh my god i remember you oh my gosh megan moreno lol then marriage happened and now it's megan villarreal villarreal <laughs> i'm sorry you had shouted out my comment in Vlogmas 2018, I think. I was hiding in the bathroom at work to watch your video, but I don't work anymore. I stay home with ba with the babies. Olivia Ann, who's two, and Albie Liam, who's three and a half, almost four years old. I started watching you when I was pregnant with him, LOL. I love all the new home renovations. Tell PP I said hello and that she's beautiful. Enclosed is a Christmas photo of the kids. It was a lot of work to get them to stay in one spot. LOL. I'm very thankful to you and your content. You make me smile. I loved your dad and you have no idea how much I wish he was like he was like mine. Warm holiday wishes to you and yours. Love Megan and the kiddos. You're amazing. Love you. P.S. I'm sorry for the bad handwriting. I'm nervous. Oh my god. I love you. You're so hilarious. Your handwriting's not bad at all. I love you so much. Your kids are literally everything. They are so cute. Your kids are so cute. Your son's eyes, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. And your daughter's. Okay, these are like the cutest kids ever. So cute. All right, this one is from Jennifer Neimer, Neimer um, from Wisconsin. Deck the halls. Merry Christmas from our home to yours. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Love, Jenny. Thank you so much. I hope you guys had a great Christmas as well. This one is from Dora Chavez from Illinois. Oh my God, if that's not the cutest thing ever. Look at this. <laughs> Meet babes, look at this, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> is that someone, did someone make that? I don't know, it's but it's cute. so cute. Gabriella and Dan, may this Christmas season bring you special moments and happy memories. May 2021 be better for everyone. Love, Dora. Thank you. I agree. I really hope 2021 is good. Is a good year. I know it will be. Okay, this one is from Johanna Ortiz from California. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at the poinsettias. They're like 3D poinsettias. Right here. So cute. 
Dear Gabriella, thank you so much for sharing a little piece of you with us. I know at times life is hard enough without the added attention, but for me, I know that I appreciate all the positivity you give us. Please accept my deepest con condolences for the loss of your father. I'm sending you a heartfelt hug. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a wonderful year to come. I hope your Christmas is full of love, peace, and happiness. Best wishes for you and Dan. Love, Johanna. Johanna. Thank you so much. Oh my God, this one's gorgeous too. <laughs> Look at, look at the writing on this. Ooh, so pretty. pretty. Did I? Okay, good. There's no others. That's so pretty. This one is from Jordan Curry from Georgia. Gabriella, Merry Christmas, lovely. I just wanted to wish you and Dan a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you for all the positivity and realness you share with all of us. You're such a bright light. Also, I've been following your channel for a good while and it warms my heart to see how happy you are. I've had you in my prayers and wanted you to know that the tough days are okay, that nobody is going to judge you as you continue to learn life without your dad and remind you that it's so clear that you are the light of his life. Why am I crying? <laughs> and I have no doubt that he's watching over you and is so proud of you. Wish Dan, PP, Eddie, and all a very Merry Christmas from us here in Georgia. We hope the holiday is full of laughter, love, joy, hope, peace, and amazing new memories. You all deserve that. Keep shining that bright light, girl. Your amazing outlook on life has helped more people than you'll ever know. Keep living and loving. Deuces. Hugs. Jordan. I'm literally crying. That's got to be such, that's such a sweet, sweet card. Thank you so much. It is also from Connecticut. I believe it says C. Burnett. C. Burnett from Connecticut. It says the Fortunato Cruz family. Mary Ann Bright. May your Christmas be full of delight. To, to Gabriella, Dan, Lola, and Oliver, Merry Christmas to you all. I've been watching your channel for a few years, and you've quickly become one of my favorite YouTubers. It's so very clear to see that you and your family are genuinely good, kind people, which is refreshing to watch nowadays. I'm so happy you found happiness with Dan. He seems great, and you deserve that. Keep being the sweet, empathetic, funny person you are. I bet you make your dad proud every day. Say hi to PP for me. Merry Christmas, Courtney. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. All of you guys who literally have like the sweetest messages ever. Thank you so much. This one is from Leanne McCarter from Tennessee. Gabriella, a Merry Christmas season to you and much new and much new year, joy and peace. Hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas. May the new year bring you nothing but happiness and may all your wishes, prayers and dreams come true. Love Leanne. Her Instagram is at makeup with Leanne. Thank you so much. I love it. Oh my God, I love this. She has a cardinal on the envelope. Mm. This one is from Christiana Dominguez. <laughs> she wrote on the back, did not lick, COVID friendly, LOL. <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hi, Gabriella. I, I have been watching your channel for years now. I absolutely love you and your content. I wish we lived near each other. I feel like we would be best friends. No joke, we are literally so alike and love going shopping at the same stores. I'm not sure if you remember me, but I had my own eyelashes and I wanted to send you some. I did, just not sure if you ever received them. Hmm, I didn't actually. My Instagram is Christiana, Christiana Denise. Anyways, please don't ever change. You are such a good person with an amazing heart. Continue to be strong. Send my love and condolences to PP and the family. Also, hi Dan, I love you and Gabriella together. You two are perfect. Hold on tight to each other. Once again, happy holidays, I love you. Living and loving, deuces. Best wishes to you and yours for a wonderful holiday season and new year. With love always, Christiana Dominguez. That's sweet, I love the polar bears in the car. Isn't that cute? And Lola and Oliver. This is a long shot, but if you ever need someone to talk to, here's my number. Oh, that was so sweet of you. Wow. Wow, that was really sweet. Okay, this one is from Stephanie from California. Hopefully you don't hear my dishwasher, but I'm sure you will because it's so loud right now. <laughs> oh my God. You guys are killing me with these babies. They're so cute. Your daughter is so cute. Oh my gosh. Gabriella, wishing you and Dan a very Merry Christmas. I'm enjoying watching your Vlogmas videos and my and any videos of yours in general. I know this will be a tough one for you and your family. I'm praying you get through it. If you ever decide to make a TikTok, please follow us. TikTok, LeopardPixie86. Thanks for sharing your life with us. Take care and happy holidays. Stephanie and Baby Ellie, the TikTok star. Oh my God, I have to go watch. 
She is gorgeous. Thank you so much for sending me a card. Have a warm and cozy Christmas. Dear Gabriella, wishing you all the timeless treasures of Christmas, the warmth of home, the love of family, and the company of good friends. Thank you for sharing your life with your subs. This will be a Christmas that hurts without your dad, but remember, you, you just can't see him. He is there. Love from Sarah N. Thank you. Okay, this one is from Samantha Stewart from Ohio. Aww. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love Kyle, Samantha, and Marley. Gosh, you guys, these kids are so cute. We absolutely love your videos. Thanks for being an inspiration, girl. Living and loving. Thank you. Your daughter is gorgeous. I cannot. You guys, the baby fever is so real. All right, this is the last card I have, and then I have a package. This one is from Sandy LePage from Connecticut. Gabriella, I found your channel by watching one of your makeup tutorials and I got hooked with your personality. You are very genuine. I'm glad you and Daniel are together. You seem very happy with him. I wish you both health and happiness. I know this Christmas will be hard for you and your family with the passing of your dad. What you shared of him on your channel, your supporters will miss him as well. Such a tragedy. I can tell your family is very close. I'd like to wish you, Dan, PP, Eddie, and the doggies a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love, Sandy. Hope to meet you around town. You live close to me. I do live actually very close to you. I'm sure I'll see you out. Thank you so much for your kind words. All right, guys, and there is a package here from Yesenia Rodriguez Safe, Sale, um, from Illinois. So we're gonna open that together now. Oh, Merry Christmas, sorry. I'm reading her card. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hope you guys have a great Christmas. I hope you enjoy your gift. I know how important your dad was for you, and I wanted to give you something to remember him by. It's a little something made with love. Love watching you and Dan and your mom. Sending lots of holiday cheer your way. Best wishes, Yezzy Ono. Sorry I don't have social media to attach to this, but my email is... I don't want to say her email out loud. Okay. All right. She wrapped it in everything. This is so cute. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm going to cry. Oh, my God. Are you serious? I'm legit going to start crying. What is it? Oh my god, I'm legit gonna cry! This is so cute! Let's show the camera. It says, I'll hold you in my heart until I can hold you in heaven. With the oh, butterfly. Oh, that is awesome. That's so cute. Oh my god. That's awesome. Oh my god. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. Oh my god. I'm like in awe. Look how gorgeous this is. That's awesome. That's crazy. Isn't that amazing? Hi guys. Okay, it's the next morning. My camera loves to die at the most unopportune times. But I just wanted to come on and the vlog. Just give you guys a big, big thank you for watching my vlogmas. Loving my vlogmas. Sending Christmas cards and packages. Of course, that's never, never, never necessary. But I appreciate every single one of them. My P.O. box is open for the next six months. I know I saw a couple of comments saying you guys wanted to send letters and stuff. So it is still open for the next six months, I believe. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much. You're seriously like a second family to me. I appreciate every single one of you. And thank you so much for sticking by my side through 2020. It was definitely a hell of a year. So positive vibes for 2021. Manifesting only good things. And I'll see you guys next year. Love you. Bye.